It's seriously, seriously because of the selection they have on their website. It is so good. Uh, some of the beers you have to be really quick because they get sold out quickly, but it's really, really going to be probably the best web shop in Europe because they ship to all over Europe and the selection is just so on point. Uh, so there's a little letter here with the beer names. It says, greetings from Beer Jum. Enjoy them all. They are really solid ones. Cheers, Sebastian. And Sebastian is the owner, so big shout out to Sebastian. Thanks a bunch, dude. Yeah, nope. <laughs> it is a bonus beer that I didn't expect. Look at this bad boy. That's a cool label. But you know what that is, guys? That is Omnipolo Noah Pecan Mud Cake Imperial Stout on 11%. One of the best beers at CBC. Shit. <laughs> I didn't even order this one, but you put it in there as an extra. That is awesome. Thanks a bunch, Sebastian. Okay, we have. A lot of waxes beers in this one. This is wax, this is from Demolin, and this is their Cuvée 4. It's a blend of their Imperial Stout, it's a Sour Ale-ish. It's a blend, it's a 9.4%, it's a blend of their Imperial Stouts, the Sour and everything, aged in all kinds of oak barrels. Sound really cool. This is their newest version of their Cuvée, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Another Omnipolo beer, besides the bonus one. This one sounds awesome, this is the Omnipolo Magic Number Series 421. Raspberry Smoothie IPA. What the hell? So this is a 6% IPA brewed with uh, water, malt, wheat malt, oats, lactose, hops, and uh, raspberry puree. Sounds awesome. So this one, guys, is one I really wanted to try, but uh, you could only get it on the McKellar web shop. I thought it'd be available locally too, but it's one of the very the only wax wax variation of the Beauty Brunch Weasel, and this is the Beauty Brunch Weasel aged in cognac barrels by McKellar. And when I reviewed this, I think I reviewed all the new variations on Beauty Brunch Weasel because I did the whole McKellar Beer Geek Week a, a while back. So this should be awesome. Uh, I've heard from a lot of people that this is the best one, so really looking forward to that one. This one, guys, is another bonus beer that you guys will also get if you hop onto Beer Jump and order. Uh, right now, they do a deal that what how, doesn't matter how much you purchase on there, you get an extra bonus beer. And uh, this is from Nova Bira, which is based in yeah Nova Bira. It, it sounds like it's uh, or it says Belgium on there, so I think it's a Belgian beer. But you get this an extra. This is their Big Nose Belgian Triple on nine percent. So no matter what you buy and how much you buy, you'll get this at the moment as an extra, which is awesome. We got some more Prairie <laughs> beer, and this is the Prairie Artisan Ales co in collab with Saint Somewhere, and this is their Prairie Somewhere, Somewhere Sour Farmhouse Ale on 7%. So another Prairie beer, they're doing some awesome stuff at Prairie, so should be nice. So this one guys, I really wanted to review this for you guys. This sells out so quickly here. I don't think I can get it at the moment, but I wanted to review this for the Alco segment I've started doing where I review anything else but beer. And I have some other stuff to review for that. Uh, a a, uh, a Isle whiskey and a uh, sake. But this is the most famous beer from Bean Nectar Meadery and this is their Zombie Killer Sizer. Or is it, no, yeah, Sizer, a blend. Uh, it's apple cider with honey and cherry juice added. I believe it's a cider. But yeah, it's great stuff. I've had it many times, so it should be awesome to review that one for you guys. And this one I really wanted to get because Mik Mikkel himself speaks really fondly of it. This is the Mikkeller Win Ale 2012 edition ale brewed with grapes. And they, he says that this is the perfect marriage between beer and wine. 
and it should be really good. It's like pretty high ABV, isn't it? Eight point one percent champagne yeast. They use a great wine grapes in there, so it sounds really cool. I've heard some people say it's kind of equally as good as Nelson Sauvignon, which is insanely good. So we got a can from Beaver Town. This is Beaver Town's Gamma Ray American Pale Ale, 5.4%. Uh, really wanted to review this one for you guys. I've had uh, quite a decent amount of Beaver Town. I've had this on tap, and this is one of the best pale ales I've had in a while. But for some reason, this one hasn't been available locally, even though I've been able to get other Beaver Town beers. But there you go. Awesome can, too. Really, this is like the perfect summertime beer. We've got another can of summertime type beer. It's another American Pale Ale. Okay, I can't really get this off right now. <laughs> but it is from Westbrook, and this is their One Claw Rye Pale Ale in 5.5%. I've had this on tap a few times, and I really like it. So it's awesome to get a can here to review for you guys. And it looks like it's fairly fresh, too. So that is awesome. Looking forward to reviewing it for you guys. My god, this is insane. Another Lambic from uh, Hansen's, and it's the other experimental beer that was sold out last time that they do, and this is their Hansen's Experimental Raspberry. The cassis was pretty good, but super funky. So it should be cool to try the raspberry version as well. But we're not done yet. This is probably the crazy section right here. So first off, we got some Alesmith. Crazy that this one made it over here to Europe. This is the Alesmith Hall of Fame version of their, what is it, 3.394, 3, 3 which is a tribute to uh, Mr. Padre, which is some uh, kind of baseball player, uh, Tony something. Uh, but I know uh, Joe from Joe's Arcade reviewed this. He really liked it. He says one of his go-to beers is the regular version. So I haven't had the regu regular version or the ability to try it, but I saw this on their website and I was like, I got to try this when I get the chance. So yeah, another hoppy beer from Alesmith. This one sounds really cool. You guys know the classic Belgians and you know St. Bernardus at 12 is a great Belgian quadruple and one of the best. This one is barrel aged or oak aged, uh, which is really cool. This is the first time I think they've done, yeah, it's ancient Calvado barrels. It sounds really cool. So this is another beer in their Black Damnation series where they do tweaks on their Black Albert, which is their flagship Imperial Stout, which is great. It's usually barrel aged beer. This is a 13% beer. This is the Black Albert A2 SC2 Club. And Black Albert, or the Black Damnation series hasn't been available in Denmark for so long, but they're great. The ones, I've had quite a few of them and they're awesome. And this version, I believe, yeah, this is the one that's aged peach fermented Black Albert aged in Angira rum barrels. This is Black Damnation 1, Blackberry Albert. So this is Black Albert, uh, which is made with blackberries, I believe, and also aged in bourbon barrels. <laughs> the brewery, Melange number 3. A unique blend of Black Tuesday, White Oak Sap, and our anniversary ale. Extended barrel aging lens flavors, 16.9%. This is last year's release. This made it to Beer Jump. It's the only place in Europe I've seen this bottle, which is insane. Another rare beer from the brewery. You see the wax? This is Brewery's Melange Number no. 1 Barrel Aged Blended Ale. This is a blend of Oak Tart and Black Tuesday on 11%. Holy crap, folks. This is probably the most insane beer mail I've gotten in a long time. It's just crazy good beer in here. I can't wait to review this for you guys. Unfortunately, I know these two are sold out at the moment, so you can't get them on Beer Gym anymore. But you guys definitely need to hop on to BeerGym.com and check out their crazy selection and get yourself some good beer in your life along with a free beer. So, awesome stuff, guys. Look forward to these crazy reviews. I really just want to crack stuff right now. It's something like 11 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> so, good, good stuff, guys. And again, thanks a bunch to Sebastian from BeerDream.com. And uh, guys, as always, remember to subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And stay tuned for another beer review here on the Master of Puppets. See ya.